folks, we all know about Gabriel Union. This bitch don't know wanna no stay alive. Today, my friends, another gem of modern cinema. <laughs> um, it was pretty bad. It had some funny parts, oh, but that's all the name of the movie. The name of the movie <laughs> was The Avengers. <laughs> the Avengers: Infinity War in 3D, for real this time, guys. <laughs> Starring Gabrielle Union and her kids. <laughs> yeah, her kids, who were actually pretty pretty annoying. Uh, what was it called again? Breaking in. Breaking in. Yeah. Which sounds like a weird sort of teen comedy <clears throat> from the mid '90s. Yeah, yeah. But hey, it is what it is. Um, this was truly a clusterfuck of tropes and <laughs> unforgettable lines and dialogue. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was something else. It really was. Um, for some reason, they started off with Die Hard. They showed you taking off her shoes, but then it didn't play into the story at all. Okay, why did you... There's a lot of moments like that in this movie yeah. where I'm like, why'd you even do that? Awkward yeah. stares between the Mexican bad guy and the <laughs> male prostitute, gay male prostitute <laughs> bad guy. Like, weird exchanges. Um, what, what would you say about this film? How did it make you feel well, inside? Well, um... <laughs> I like the home invasion genre. You can know, be it's, good. It, it can be good. But it gets good. tiresome. This was an hour and 28 um, movie by an hour, the hour, hour 20 minute mark. I'm it like, felt long. come on, what it, are you guys it, doing? It felt long. Um, but I'm a fan of home invasion movies. I like, um, I like ones that, you know, aren't rapey, you know, because there's a lot of them that are usually This one uh, took a sharp turn down to Rape Alley, right yeah. at the end there. Yeah, towards towards the end it gets a little, there isn't, well, there isn't a rape. also the but... uh, prison the gay prison sex yeah. does it was it implied he was forced to or that he was doing it for drugs i was yeah it's it's he, he says he's uh, he was on his knees um the only difference is i didn't yeah. find him on his knees yeah he said he was on his knees um for, multiple uh, times at least twice yeah during the prison i mean i get it you're trying to make but does sucking dick make you weak or something yeah. i guess so, you know, you got, uh, over there. they should um yeah they should call the pc police on them yeah so, it's, um, it's really, uh, it's, it's... Quite forgettable. Yeah, it's very Nothing forgettable. It. It's, it honestly feels like a straight to Netflix kind of a movie. Yeah, it does. It's, uh, I mean, it doesn't look bad as far as, like, the way it's shot. It's okay. I um, mean, they could have, yeah, I guess so, but it's, it felt really... Um, clusterfuck, not cluster, it felt really, uh, what's it when you, claustrophobic. Claustrophobic, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, they're in the crawl, when she was in the crawl space, there's a moment where one of the characters is in a crawl space, which they didn't notice until halfway through the movie, but I digress. <laughs> right. And it feels like it's more open than the fucking hallways and outside, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, um... <sighs> you know, it, sadly, I was, I was hoping that this would be... Uh, Maybe an underrated gem? Yeah, I was thinking it would be more fun. I definitely didn't think it was going to be a good movie, but I thought it was going to be... Female Die Hard. You know, kind eh. of, they threw in the element with the feet. That's all like, Die Hard reminds me of. But still. Yeah, it's probably a nod to Die Hard, but it's just... But um, it didn't have anything. It didn't come up in the story at all. Like, why bring it up? Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's just not that great. And it, it has its moments... Where you're like, oh, this is a little fun, but it just, it doesn't really know what to do. It takes do. itself too seriously. Yeah. It has, like, um, the one Hispanic bad guy, he, I don't know what it is about him, but as soon as he showed up on screen, he would just have weird stare, he would, they would zoom in on him right in, on camera, and he'd be staring at you, and it's like, I couldn't help but giggle. Something about his face, something yeah. about the way he talked. Well, that's that's kind of one of the things, is that... This movie has um, the stupidest, most ill-equipped, and um, <laughs> just um, uh, just total fucking uh, garbage villains. Like they are just um, yeah. The lead one was this white guy, the most uninteresting villain imaginable. I. He just would say cliche, yeah, tropey things. They're just they're incompetent completely, and um, they they literally have like no tools for the job, which yeah. is basically 
they're they're breaking into this house, which they think is going to be empty. And it's got a bunch it's of security safe. and shit. Yeah, and they don't even bring a saw to cut the fucking right. power and phone lines. They use his. Yeah, and the the crazy thing is, is that the the main villain, he's the only one with a gun. Like, yeah. I, like the, your first introduction to one of the villains, he's just like this random dude. And yeah. he's like trying to grab uh, Gabrielle Union, and you're like, wait, like, don't you have a weapon or yeah. something? <laughs> like, don't you have you... some sort of skills? He had an army tag <laughs> on his shirt. And yeah, he was um, not very uh, army trained. <laughs> a middle aged mother just beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, that's um... right then and there. I was like, oh boy, these uh, these aren't uh, very well cast um, villains. They should have made it more. They should have made it more goofy then. Stop trying to make play it so straight. Yeah, you know. Well, that well, that's another one of the things is that I uh, I I thought going into this that this was rated R, and I uh, I'm assuming it's PG-13 because they Do only they say, say the N word. They say they say they say fuck once. Fuck once. I remember and that was towards the end. Every other time they say freaking and they cut away from the violence, mm-hmm. even though there is some you know definite violence. Some guy gets uh, stabbed with a wine glass. Yeah, and there, there's there's definitely stabbings. Like, um, the the main guy who you first see, the first villain, hmm. he ends up grabbing a crowbar out of the garage. It's like that's the fucking weapon you use. You some damage with the crowbar. He hits her once. She's down at least. He hits a tree and then he can't it get it out stuck. of the tree. No, he tries for like a half a second, and then gives up. Like, dude, maybe yeah, put your put your back into it. Try using your arms a little bit. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he's just terrible. I mean. I will say that when it starts, that start was so fucking awkward. The slow mo with the dad uh, with jogging. I'm with like the grandpa. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? It I went on confused. for like four, five, six minutes at least. It felt like. like yeah, I was confused. Why yeah. is he in? Why are we watching an old man jog in slow mo? Yeah, I was confused. Like, who is this? What is going on here? And uh, I knew what was going to happen was going to happen. As yeah. soon, right before the whole time before, I knew. He was going to succumb to something right yeah. before it actually happened. I'm like, oh, okay, there you go. Uh, he gets hit by a big ass truck and then he gets curb stomped. American History X style. Yeah, and then it cuts to the title because it's edgy. <laughs> yeah, the credits, the entire time he was running, they didn't show credits. I'm like, yeah. what is the sequence here? What are you doing this yeah, for? Yeah, I mean, I will say I did like the music there choices was, that they picked. It was kind of nice. There's only nice two songs. songs. The one that played yeah. whenever they were controlling the house and the one in the beginning with the father or oh, grandfather was, was listening. No, no it was, that was a different song. There was oh, only okay. two songs. They just played them a couple yeah. times. Well, they, they sounded nice. It was kind of yeah, like good. Yeah. One was a Sam Cooke tune. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Um, but I will say, I'll, I will give the movie credit when Gabrielle Union and her kids are going to the house because I guess they're going to sell it or something. It felt cringy to me. Well, they show you the layout of the house, which I was very glad because, you know, we know we're going to be in this house. We know yeah. it's a home invasion movie. So we see him go through the house. The kid's got a drone. I hope that the kids died it. immediately. That was my hope. Yeah, they were very Cringy. Awful. Just, yes. ooh, where's mom? Yeah, especially the young boy. He was just He like, didn't talk too much. It wasn't bad. The girl was <laughs> bad, but yeah. the boy was definitely worse. Yeah, the kids were were not good. <laughs> the father shows up for about three minutes. You hear his voice for yeah, longer which, than he's on screen. Which almost everything in the movie's telegraphed. You're kind of yeah. like you, you know where it's. <laughs> it's where all it's you've going. seen this all before, and you've heard all the dialogue spoken before. Here's the plot. In case you guys ain't hip, you cats ain't wise. Gabrielle Union. After her death of her drug dealer, whatever, criminal father, we never learn the details. Yeah. Goes to her uh, father's country house to, um, you know, Mansion. get it ready to sell. Mansion. Sell it. Get it ready to go. Ship that shit. Solid go, motherfucker. <laughs> so, they get up there. They don't... Were, to ha- were the guys in there the whole time? Because did they check the whole house? I thought that's what they were doing. Like, she went... We went to a bunch of rooms. We were walking around hallways for a minute. Yeah. And they even see the security cameras that they have. Anyways, the blonde male prostitute has seduced the father... Grandfather's assistant. Yes. And she's divulged information pertaining to $4 million in a safe yeah. within a house... 
of a mansion of size. In the middle of nowhere, basically. Yeah. So, Gabrielle Union goes outside to order pizza, have some wine, girl out, yeah. base, the, uh, base the ham she's got carrying around with her. We'll get back to that in a second. I know that felt <sighs> awkward. Don't worry. I got a plan. She's outside. Kids get grabbed. We see that. She doesn't know what's going on. Then she gets grabbed. She fights off the guy. Ties him up and gags him and leaves him in the woods. <laughs> um, no wildlife out in this country, apparently. No, no bears going to maul him, which would have been interesting, but... <laughs> so one thing's got to go down. Either these guys get that four mil, or they kill the kids. Or mama saves everybody and gets to keep the cash. You tell us. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> The um, saving grace of this movie, if there is one. <laughs> Gabrielle Union's ass is <laughs> remarkably stunning. Remarkably yeah. stunning. She's a fine woman. Do you think that in some moments they use... I thought in some moments you could tell that there was a stunt double. Even mundane for moments. Her? Yeah, like oh, she's yeah, jumping sure. up a couple of rocks in the very beginning. Like not running, just, you know, hopping up a couple yeah. rocks. The ass was clearly Different. smaller. Oh, smaller. Clearly smaller. Yeah, she's got some meat on her. Those jeans there, you know. She's a real good looking gal. Yeah. There was only a couple times she looked bad. When she was getting strangled. <laughs> and um, when she was really pissed off at the end. You picked the wrong house to break into, motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't look great. Yeah. They focused in on the ass in a lot, the first 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, you, get, you get quite a few ass shots. So yeah. I was getting pumped. I'm like, yeah, at least I get to ride the Gabby train for an uh, hour and 28. <laughs> but after that 20, 30 minutes, it only pops up significantly with significant screen time. I'd say about <laughs> four and a half, 445 minutes. Yeah. Despicable. Despicable, Hollywood. Universal Pictures for shame. <laughs> yeah. Do you I, think she acted well? Gabrielle? Did okay. She was fine. Yeah. She was fine. I she mean, didn't really... She, compared to everyone else... The Hispanic else, guy? <laughs> oh the fucking God. blonde guy? The they male were, prostitute? They were horrific. Those two... Uh, and like I said, they Just are... Just weird stares. Why are we seeing them stare at each other? Yeah. What is this? What is the deal? I, mean, I have to say, they are so unintimidating yeah the mexican yeah. dude was like he weighed like 140 pounds soaking wet man yeah he, he looked like he looked like fucking pedro from napoleon dynamite yeah like, I'm just calling yeah him pedro with a with a fade and he had like the worst fucking mustache you've ever seen in your life yeah you know one it of those stereotypical <laughs> mexican mustache. guy mustaches where the middle is missing and you got the two <laughs> sides hanging down extra droopy so, yeah it's like literally it's it's a patchy mustache you can't even grow a mustache it um somebody should have told him not to grow a mustache yes and the other guy too the other guy's got some weird facial hair going on, too. He had a bunch of... It didn't see it until he showed up on him. He had a bunch of... He had, like, neck beard, but there was patches. a bunch of patches, but patches of different sizes, varying lengths of hair. Yeah, that's that's when you're, like, the makeup and hair person, and you gotta say, yeah, no, we're I like the, uh, the other... The gun guy's the belt. Villain? I liked his belt buckle. Oh, I gotta yeah. admit that. I saw it briefly. It was a skull or something. It's worth the price of a mission right there. Yes. <laughs> I love skulls on, um, belt buckles. Yeah. The, um, another problem with this one, we'll, we'll start off small. All right, the spoilers, if anyone cares from you this point give on. recommendations first? Oh, don't see this. What are you, a yeah. madman? Yeah, I'm Just go look up Gabriel on fucking Google Images, man. Yeah, definitely, uh, don't spend money to go see this. Uh, it's not... It's not even so bad, it's good, so... It's just boring. Yeah, it's, it is very It's boring. an hour and 28 movie that feels like two... Yeah, it feels like a two-hour movie. And, uh, yeah, if it's on Netflix, sure, whatever, fucking watch it. But, you know, it's, uh, yeah, avoid this one. It's not worth your money. Nah. The, um, bad guy at the end, he has the money in his on his back. Gabrielle, the kids escape. He takes it off, leaves it in the house, and pursues them. If they get away, why not just just have the money with you? If they get away, they get away. Now you run with the money. Well, it's... if you get them, you get them. Now you have the money, you can leave. I, I hear what you're saying, but I mean, it's $4 million. It's got to slow you down. It's got to be heavy, right? Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know? 
um, awkward intro. There was a, when he was pursuing them, for some reason he was in slow mo. The truck was in normal speed. I found that very yeah, jarring, that, that very scene awkward. Was very terrible, and I and the whole t and it's so weird because Pedro uh, is walking very slowly after them, like yeah. Jason, and I'm like, what do you? What's going on here? And like, you, the entire time, running? I'm like, come on. I know it's he gets uh, <laughs> run he gets run down in reverse. <laughs> You can see it coming, and right. it's still hilarious. And they clearly telegraph that he's not dead. because Yeah, because they zoom right after. All right, here's what happens. She kill, She runs him over. She's already killed Blondie. She's already killed the guy she gagged. Or the guy she gagged has already been killed. She um, goes back to the house with the kids, secures it, locks it down. They zoom over the first dead guy, the army guy. Zoom over the next guy, the blonde guy. Zoom over the real estate lady. Who was the uh, Dr. Cox's wife from Scrubs? Oh, yeah. She was in it briefly. Zoom over her dead body. And then that's it. Back to Gabrielle yeah. Union. Okay, where's you, the other you guy? Just, you've just shown us all the dead people except for the last guy. So it's like... Which was totally unnecessary. Yeah. But it was funny, though, when you zoom in on the, the dead guy. And then, oh, I wonder where... You remember what his name was? I wonder was. where Pedro is. <laughs> you remember what his real name was? No. Did all, any of the bad guys have real names? I don't even know. I don't, I don't think, think so. any of the bad guys... They no. didn't give any of the bad guys names. Yeah. How fucking lazy so you are got, you? You got Belt Buckle, you got Pedro, and you got gay male prostitutes. Gabriel <laughs> Unions, and then Army Guy. <laughs> Army Dude. She, they right. gave him a name. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Pen. Sean, maybe. Yeah. Whatever. Gabrielle Union, what was her name? Uh, Sean. Sean. Yeah. Sean. Shawnee or something like For that. For some reason, the youngest boy's name was Glover. They're big no, Lethal really. Weapon fans. Yeah. Oh. Glove! There's a sequence where the daughters, right before everyone gets kidnapped, she's walking down the hallway, she says about 15 words, and each of them is, Mom? Glover? Oh. Mom? Glover? Glover? Mom. Glove? Why do you name a kid Glover? Come on! Yeah, that's, that's just not a good name for a kid. Remember the daughter's name? Jazz. Oh, yeah. That's the, a, father's name, the father's name is said once, and I can't remember what it was. She yeah. speaks to him briefly on the phone. In the beginning, she's, um... There's this trope I see. It's a minor nitpick. She's talking on the phone. Or she's... Yeah, she's talking on the phone. Something catches her attention. Yeah. She's looking at, like, pictures of the house or something, maybe. Right. And then somebody on the phone is like, Uh, Sean? You there, Sean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm there. Remember, Sean, the house has got to... If we do this right, we can put the house up today. <laughs> they do that in a lot of movies. This movie had a lot of cliches, yeah. a lot of tropes. If really you, bad ones. If you Very sit down and ones. watch it and write them down, each of them, it'd be... It would number the hundreds, yeah. probably. You've seen it all before. You know, that's the thing. It's And it's been done better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's... I mean, for positives, you know... Why I mean, didn't the kids notice the crawl space? They... Uh, I was going to say, they live there. They don't live there. Why wouldn't they go into that bathroom? I thought it was a closet. <laughs> but they have a bathroom yeah, in the really bedroom. Yeah. It's very... Very misleading, Mr. Yeah. Whatever Your Name Director is. James uh, McTeague. I've seen that. What else has he done? Uh, well, he did V for Vendetta, which I want to say that he didn't really direct because um, the Wachowskis... Uh, they produced and wrote it or something. They, they executive produced it. They uh, they wrote the adaptation of, of the Alan Moore comic. Yeah. They were on set every single day. And Larry Wachowski, now Lana Wachowski, had her caterer, her personal caterer on all of her movies on that movie. And that guy, James McTeague, he was their, um, he was like their second assistant direct, uh, cameraman, and yeah. then he was a second unit director. So they were, they were like helping him out. They were giving him a break. Yeah. But they really directed it. I think that's obvious, because everything I've seen of this guy since doesn't sniff the ass of that movie, which yeah. is fucking awesome. I think. What else has he great. done besides V for Vendetta? Uh, he did uh, Ninja Assassin. I didn't see it. I thought it yeah. looked cool at first, and I'm it's, like, eh, it's probably uh, bad. Very good. He also did a movie with uh, Pierce Brosnan a few years ago that was just absolute shit. Yeah. Uh, he's he's and he, he's just hack. You know, he's he's garbage. They all gotta die. Do it, or you're next. 
<laughs> like do such a bad he has such a funny accent too i can't do yeah, it yeah his the his pedro's mannerisms in this movie priceless just the way he would stare and get all wide-eyed and just they just love zooming in on delivery. james mcteague loved his eyes <laughs> The line delivery from him is so bad. It's just awful. Going somewhere? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I... It, um... It's a sad day. <laughs> it was, that it this was, was the best movie best that option. came out yeah. this week. I will say it was enjoyable when one of the... When the, uh... The blonde-haired guy falls off the roof and his head cracks against the rock. <laughs> well, falls off or gets tackled by Gabby right. in that sweet ass that pounds a punch, friends. Was, Trust was, me on that. That was great. I was actually cheered for that. It was really good. I liked it. I wish the kids to be killed yeah. off. I, I just wish it was R-rated and they had more fun with it. It's, yeah. it's like it starts kind of picking up with momentum and then they don't really... You know, do enough with it. You know? Yeah, they don't kill any but any of the bad guys until like the last like act of the movie. Minutes, yeah. Yeah. So it's like there's nothing really going on. All she does is light fireworks and smash up some light bulbs. <laughs> yeah. You don't really have to introduce the family at all. I mean, what was the main theme of this? Um, you're my daughter. You don't have to worry about me. I will. Yeah. And then uh, the she daughter says, says it to the to her brother. To her brother. I'm your big sister. You know, I, I worry about you. You don't worry about me. Yeah, which, was... which I'm almost positive. I've heard the whole line of uh, the parent thing from another movie before. It's I've definitely it's heard my, it before. It's my job to worry about yeah. you, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this is... I was really hoping this would be fun, but it's it, it really wasn't that fun. There was a couple moments. We had the best fun from the um, <laughs> girls behind us making just goofy comments. Like, uh, she stabs the Mexican guy to death. And then Dead Silence in the movie, Dead Silence in Theater. Good job. <laughs> Way to stab that guy to death, honey. <laughs> she you was, go, girl. Yeah, she was uh, she, she, she uh, was very nervous throughout the movie. She was constantly going, oh, oh. My yeah. God. <laughs> she was be like, do you know, you remember Scary Movie, the first one, where they do yeah. that stereotypical black people in the theater. Oh, Scream. don't go in there. She was just like that towards the that end person. of the movie. Yeah, she was just shouting. Uh, oh my god, shoot him! Shoot him! Yeah, that was great. She she was so nervous and upset when this little kid gets a gun and points it at the villain, which like happens I, in all these yeah. movies. I can understand going to the movies and getting into it, but so yeah. what a shit movie to get into. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it you know, and it didn't even bother me that I'm talking at all. No, because like, it, it was a shit movie. I don't yeah, care. I'm just it's, killing time. It's out. Just, it was just hilarious because she was... She was so into it. We're just bursting into laughter at that. She had a yeah. couple good lines. Make a good yeah. uh, co-host on Mystery Rudy Land Theater. Yeah. Um, is there anything you really want to get into? Or I think I, I, my other notes are um, <laughs> illegible. Let's net stare at each other. That I don't know what that means. <laughs> Crawl space. Why didn't they notice the crawl space? Our Marion sensor. Whatever that is. Well, the sensor's outside. When she was smashing them. Is that it? Or? Hmm. I don't know. Can't say. <laughs> the motion sensors. Um, why weren't... She had this motion... In the security system, there's this motion sensor. Why wasn't any of the other guys setting it off? Why wasn't she setting it off? Why was the drone setting it off you know that's the one thing that probably would be least likely to set it off right a drone versus people walking around plus the kids it didn't show kids are up here yeah. kids were moving a fucking dresser why didn't it give the fucking motion sensor set off there yeah it's like maybe she set it up and she's messing with them and trying to get them to move around or something i don't know maybe who knows yeah um awkward slow-mo what um We'll go into some uh, home invasion recommendations. How about that? What about ratings? Oh, yeah, rate. We'll rate, <laughs> uh, we'll rate this rapey adventure, which was PG-13, but alluded to sort of sexual, odd, rapey yeah, sexual he says he tones. basically he's going to pull a mother-daughter combo. Plus the gay, pro I don't know if he was a gay prostitute, whatever. Maybe he okay. was forced to suck dick in prison, because he says they were both in prison. Which he, he was him. bigger than the Hisp than the Mexican guy, yeah, but it's, whatever. It's, it's, it's Mis garbage. yeah, some idiot. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, it's a tough one. I can go three. You're gonna go three. Yeah. 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 Truth or Dare at least was was better. Would you say Truth or Dare was better than this? Would you have rather watched that than this? Well, that was the more faces. fun. Yeah. Truth or Dare is more fun. I think this is a better made film. Yeah. Like it's you understand the story. Um, they give you the layout. Well, you understand the story. You know the whole, whole thing before it's going to fucking right. happen. You, they give you the layout of the house, which is nice, so it's not like super confusing where, yeah. where they're moving around. So, you know, I, I really did not like this movie. It didn't work for me, but, you know, I'll give it like a four. It's it's definitely below average for sure. Um, it's a passable it's, if you got nothing else on yeah, Netflix. It's, it's, or at the it's library, not, I, I guess. I wasn't offended at yeah. this movie. I wasn't like, my God, this is completely Really, the only real major issues is feels too long and bad acting i guess yeah, yeah definitely bad acting and, and it does feel too long but i mean what are you gonna do yeah. you, the lowest you can go is 70 minutes <laughs> you know? fill it with more better stuff i guess i don't know <laughs> yeah they, don't spend the first half hour on the kids and the mom going to this house they, they and the should. father jogging the grandpa a jogging. third of the f- fucking first act is the father grandfather jogging yeah. an old black man with gray hairs running up and down and ain't nothing you can do about it America <laughs> except running down with a truck and then stomp his <laughs> damn face I guess <laughs> yeah. yeah so uh avoid this one I guess yeah yeah give sure. me your uh give me a home invasion recommendation home invasion so the type of home invasion movies I like are the ones that kind of subvert the typical what you usually get, which, you know, so the first pick I'd go with, which is a really underrated movie, I love it a lot. It's called Hard Candy. I like and Hard it's Candy. With, um, it's with Ellen Page and Patrick Wilson. And, I wouldn't even thought of that one. Yeah, and uh, basically... Helen Page, uh, Ellen, Ellen. I was Page. about to correct you, but I was going <laughs> to let you keep going. Ellen Page, um, she's young, and she's looking for, uh, <coughs> you know, she puts an ad for like an older guy. She meets Patrick Wilson. They go to his house because she, she's, um, she basically says she has like evidence that he's a pedophile. Doesn't she, are you sure that's why she, she and he meet up? I thought it was well, so they, they he, could. He, she helped, she lured, okay. she kind of, he lured she lures him, him for sex. She lured him into the house. And from then in there, it's just her in control and trying to get him to admit that he was a pedophile and him, you know, basically she, saying it, he's not. It doesn't hold back. She, yeah. uh, she really. I don't remember if she faked it or not, but they really uh, allude to yeah, some things. It's, it's very well shot, um, and it's just really a dark, fucked up movie. Yeah, and the very whole well time. Made. It the starts out. The is fucking great, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Ellen Page is really good in it. She was super young when she did it. She had short hair. She looked like a little boy. Yeah, and uh, Patrick Wilson's really good in it. Yeah. He really plays a part. It well. mostly is just them two, right? Yeah, it's it's basically just them, those two in the house, low budget movie, and you don't know if he really is a pedophile or not. And yeah. it's kind of discovering and at first you're like, Is she just this complete psycho? What's going on? And uh yeah, I, I, I would say that that's kind of uh a subversion of the home invasion movie. Sneaky, I yeah. like it. It's a good call. Yeah. I um could only think of Home Alone, but I thought of a better <laughs> one in the meantime. That's a classic. It's not bad, but yeah. I've grown tired of it. And everyone's seen Home Alone. <laughs> the name of the Audrey Hepburn one where she's blind. Wait until dark. Wait until dark. I've never seen it. I do. Uh, I do it know um, takes a minute to get going. Yeah. Wait until dark. Audrey Hepburn is a blind woman and in, you know, a shenanigan type situation. These guys transporting heroin, I think. They put it in a doll and somehow it gets mixed up with a gift her husband who's on vacation is giving to her a doll or something so the heroin doll is with this blind woman blind pianist not blind pianist blind pianist my friends and these guys try to trick her and then you know overpower and stuff break in they need that heroin they need it bad yeah like alan arkin is like the villain in that right which Nobody else wanted to, um, I watched it on TCM or something, I think, and they said yeah. they didn't, it was really hard to get someone to play that part because nobody wanted to play a part where you're fucking abusing a blind woman. Right, yeah. 
Yeah, I've I've always wanted to see that movie. I haven't got around to it. It um, it's, it's on my list. It's okay. It's good. I one of those classic kind of older '70s movies. Yeah, right? yeah, worth a watch at least. Yeah, I'm a. Yeah, it's uh, and it's weird to see those two in that kind of a movie too. Yeah. You know, because Alan Arkin, you don't really think. Yeah, I know. And especially even Audrey Hepburn, you know, with like what My Fair Lady and shit. So. Yeah, that's uh, it's a solid recommendation. Do you have any others you'd like to uh, give us? Yeah, um, it's, it's the thing is, is like I'm trying to think of ones that are kind of underrated that people haven't seen. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm actually gonna go with one that came out a couple of years ago that I really liked. I think you didn't like it. We've we've talked about it not on the show before, but. Uh, don't breathe. I, really, I mean, I thought it was okay. It wasn't I, great. I really liked that movie a lot. It's all right. It, it worked for me on yeah. like every level. I know there's a lot of people that there was too many plot holes. There was too many times where I'm like, okay, why don't you squeeze why through can't that window? The blind man, you know, he can smell your shoes. He can't smell you in the hallway. Yeah, yeah stuff like that, that. That stuff just like it didn't bother me. Yeah, it just it, there's a lot of movies like that yeah. where people bring it up and it doesn't get me. I, yeah, I can understand. I, when that. I, I saw it in the theater. And, and I'm sure just, it was way better in oh, theaters. I watched it. So my awesome, and I think Stephen Lang is great. I didn't see any of the trailers, and the trailers totally spoil a certain characters' death. And uh, hmm. I mean, I do have some problems with the third act, but uh, you know, I, I really loved that movie, and I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Fede Alvarez, who directed it. He did the Evil Dead remake, which was pretty cool. That was good. Um, that was good. Yeah, that, that's one that gets better with rewatches. Yeah, um, I didn't so, really like it that much first time I yeah, saw it. It's, it's actually really good, and uh, he's actually going to be coming out with a movie this year. The uh, the new um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo kind of a movie. It's called The Girl in the Spider's Web. Which I'm just really excited for that. So yeah, yeah, don't breathe. Definitely would uh, recommend that one. Um, I was going to try and think of a super. Hard to sell is a home break-in movie, but I'm having a hard time. Yeah. Uh, home Alone 3. Oh, God. The one where <laughs> they replace Macaulay Culkin, and uh, the Russian bad guy is in it. And they have to get an RC car with some sort of a crazy military yeah. chip inside it. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I saw Home Alone 3 in the It's theater. really bad. I'm surprised it was in theaters. I it, thought it was straight I to VHS. It, I saw it at a, at a budget theater here mm. when I was younger, and I was. I, David Schwimmer was in it. From, Are you sure from about Friends? that? Yes. Who did David Schwimmer play? He played one of the goons who. Yes. No, yes, I didn't. I'll I'm, bet you twenty dollars, dude. Bet me twenty dollars if you're so I'm, sure. That David Schwimmer was in Home Alone three. I bet you twenty dollars he wasn't even anywhere near it. A guy who had a similar haircut and look to him, who was English, was in it. Right. But it wasn't well, that David right. Schwimmer. Maybe you're right. I had the VHS. I've, you know, it was one of those ones you just throw on when you got nothing else to do. God, I've seen it many times. That. Bet me twenty dollars, then, son. Yeah, I'm not gonna bet you twenty bucks. I could be wrong. I thought for sure he was, though. You know you're wrong. That's why. Because I am always right. <laughs> Rudy Land is omnipotent. Recognize, the fate of the world is in his hands. Oh, What's the name of the kid? Alex Linz. Alex Linz. I remember that. Cast. He would be in the top billing if he was one of the yeah. main villains. Come on, man. You, you Scarlett Johansson? She was the sister. Whoa, that's fucking crazy. She um was writing, she was cheating on her math test by writing the answers on the bottom of her I shoe. I think David Schwimmer was on He looks like him. He has a similar haircut like, in the movie. I swear to God, I thought for sure he was. They Alex Unger, I think his name is. Wow. Hmm. That's crazy. Well, once again, you've been made to look like a fool, and I, um, I applaud your efforts. But I guess he was he was doing well for himself at that point with friends. I guess have you seen any of his movie efforts? I guess they're all bad. Like the, he did one that was like sort of an adult comedy, where he's trying to get laid all the time. Yeah, I've never really been a fan of him. All, all the people from Friends, besides like Jennifer good, he was good Aniston. on Curb, I guess. Yeah, Courtney Cox is all right in some of her stuff. Yeah. All right, gang. Um, you know, if any um, surprise you didn't pick uh, 
of people under the stairs, which would have been a great double feature. With that is a good reverse. That would have been a good subversion. That'll yep. be another one. Recommend that. People under the stairs, Wes Craven. Um, this little black boy breaks into the house of the, you know, the landowners, basically, thinking, because he heard rumors that there's gold and stuff. Ving Rhames is in it. He, um, he survives till the end. Trust me. <laughs> People under the stairs, no gimps, no, um, weird freaks and, you know, rejects, I guess you could say. But it's a great, solid film for the family. Yeah. Enjoy for all. No harsh overtones. Shame on Hollywood. Shame on you. More Gabrielle Union ass focused scenes. There were several points when she was on the phone at the beginning. When you had it, she was facing her back to the camera and you made her turn. Next grievance. Her pants should have been even tighter. I realize <laughs> how tight they are. But even tighter would have been better. Short shorts would have been perfect for running through the jungle. <laughs> no shoes I'm fine with. I can't really get a problem with that. Yeah. Problem number three. 